there are a lot of older movies that people will not give a chance. They say, ah, it's black and white, it's old, I don't want to watch it, it's uh, dated, whatever. Um, a lot of those people are missing out on some really great movies. And if there's one movie that I can think of that is just as chilling now as it would have been when it was released. It would be Cape Fear. As you can see here, I have a uh, double feature. I have the original Cape Fear, uh, which stars Robert Mitchum and uh, Gregory Peck. And then the, uh, the remake from, uh, oh, geez, a long time ago, like almost 30 years now, starring Nick Nolte and Robert De Niro. We're going to be talking about the original. Uh, Cape Fear is the story of uh, Gregory Peck, who is a very well-respected uh, attorney and um, has a wonderful family and uh, an idyllic life. But eight years earlier, uh, there had been an incident where he was the key witness against... Uh, a, a man who had been right, he caught right in the middle of raping a woman. Uh, the man played by Robert Mitchum gets out of prison and he wants revenge. And thus begins one of the most chilling films in cinema history. It is just as, as edge of your seat, white knuckled as it was back then. And um, you know, it's sort of like what I talked about when I mentioned heredity or earlier, people who want the boo scares, you know, the things that jump out at them. They want the haunted house ride. Um, this doesn't, it's, it's not that. This is in the tradition of something like what Hitchcock would have done. Um, there's suspense. We don't get that anymore, do we? What was the last movie you can think of? that was like a suspense movie. Like, Rear Window. Like, uh, uh, Vertigo. Or something where you're uh, absolutely on the edge of your seat, but it's not like, act it's not an action movie. Uh, they used to make those. Fatal Attraction. Ba even Basic Instinct, you know. Um, and they don't really make them anymore because people don't have a, a, a tolerance for it. They don't have a tolerance for, uh, something a little bit slower, something where nobody's gonna, there's not gonna be an explosion, nobody's gonna be get, getting into a, a big gunfight and, uh, anything like that. And it's, it's a shame because Robert Mitchum plays a character in this that is, uh, I mean, he is such a, a, a serial abuser of women. Such a monster. Such an unrepentant monster. That he's one of cinema's great boogeymen. And uh, the people who refuse to watch this because they say, ah, it's old, it's black and white, whatever. Uh, I can't stress enough how much they're, they're missing out. Gregory Peck famously said to the director, because um, Gregory Peck produced it, he went out and he, you know, uh, it was his Guns of the Navarone director, whose name escapes me at the moment, who directed this. Um, and uh, he took this script to him and said, now, I'm not playing, I'm playing this character. Whoever you get to play this villain... They're going to steal the movie from me. And uh, it is true. Mitchum does steal the movie from Gregory Peck. But Peck does hold his own, uh, as only Gregory Peck could. Um, this is just, it. this is a great spooky movie if you wanted to watch something around Halloween. You know, it's not like a monster movie or something like that, but it kind of is. I mean, it's a human monster. It's a, it's a, 
a man who has no morality whatsoever as the the center villain and really it is uh it's an amazing amazing movie five stars out of five for cape fear i highly recommend it even if you don't like old movies give this one a chance